There is a legend oft told in Hyrule Kingdom. It is the legend of the Triforce, once kept within Hyrule itself. Said to be a gift of the gods, the Triforce could grant a wish of all those who touched it. So, of course, many wanted to get their hands on it. Wars were fought for the Triforce. The royal family summoned the seven sages who sealed the Triforce in the sacred realm. But a thief of notorious repute broke into the sacred realm and claimed the Triforce. With its power, he became the demon king Ganon, who sought to dominate all Hyrule. But just as Ganon had the kingdom in his evil clutches, a legendary hero answered the call of Hyrule's princess. And this hero, wielding the master's sword, took up a quest to challenge Ganon's might. He joined the descendants of the Seven Sages to seal the Demon King in darkness. The Triforce was divided into three, its tempting power out of any one person's reach. One part stayed with the royal family, while another slipped into Ganon's possession. Legend says that the third part found its home in the heart of the hero Eternal. And while legends come to us from the distant past, others have yet to be written. Howdy, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, which from this point on will be referred to as A Lonk Between Worlds, because we're, we're going to name the little lad, you know, it's no longer A Link, it's A Lonk, and also SEO be damned, if you're watching this video, you're watching it, and I appreciate that. So this is a Nintendo 3DS game released at the end of 2013, uh, November 22nd in uh, Europe and North America, November 23rd in Australia, and December 26th in Japan. Uh, you know, they always stagger out, well, I don't know when they started doing it, but at some point they started staggering uh, the Japanese domestic release of Zelda games because they sell, I believe they sell better in the West, and also, you know, in the West, you gotta get it out in time for the, the holiday season, because, oh boy, good old capitalism, we love that, and just, you know, Capitalism is a slightly different flavor in Japan. Uh, so this was developed by, um, nope, we don't need to see this again, but it ha does, it has loaded now, so we have to wait before we can get out of it. Uh, this was developed by EAD uh, Tokyo, which is their entertainment analysis, entertainment analysis and development division, uh, which <laughs> doesn't exist anymore. It stopped existing in 2015, not due to uh, massive layoffs or anything like that, but instead uh, Nintendo just restructured the way uh, the organization is. I don't believe there were massive layoffs. I hope there aren't, weren't. Um, so, in Japan, this game is called Triforce of the Gods 2 because this is a sequel to A Link to the Past, and you might be able to guess what A Link to the Past is called in Japan now. Um, it's not a direct sequel. It's not a spiritual successor. I would more call it an indirect sequel. We'll talk about that as the game goes on and such. You'll You'll be able to spot it pretty quickly if you're familiar with A Link to the Past. Uh, so there's that. Also, just one more thing with the name, because this is wild. At one point during development, they considered calling this game the new Legend of Zelda, like, you know, the new Super Mario Brothers games, which is very funny to me, and I'm so fucking glad they didn't do that. Um, also, you might have heard, this game came out in 2013, which means it's the 10-year anniversary of this game uh, at the end of the year, which I think is really cool. I really like this game. I really like A Link to the Past, and just going to pat myself uh, on the back real quick. I just happened to be uh, let us playing A Link to the Past 10 years ago. I believe I started it in May, uh, and this game uh, was like announced and like during that time, and I was like, wow, holy crap, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so, you know, a lot of, lot of anniversaries happening. It's very fun. 
Uh, before we jump into the game, I have a quote from the director, Hiromasa Shikata, uh, that will kind of explain a lot of the things that will be going on with this game, and we'll be returning to this quote uh, throughout the playthrough uh, to just kind of point out where I feel this quote hits its strongest. Uh, but the concept for this game was rethinking the conventions of Zelda. So with that, uh, I've gotten all our our preliminary homework out of the way. Um, you might have noticed that we can select a hero mode if you select a new file. So you have to beat the game at least once to get a uh, hero mode. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm emulating this, you know. Who is going to spend money on a 3DS capture card, especially nowadays when, like, I don't, I don't think like there's like good 3DS capture cards being made anymore. I, I don't know. I didn't bother to look, and I don't really care. We got Citra here. Citra came through for us. Um, so I had to play through this game to unlock Hero Mode. I also had to play through it to make sure you know the emulation was good because I've never you know used Citra. Uh, and it, it, it ran very well. There will be stutters here and there. Uh, it's not, you know, 100% perfect, but I would say it's like 99.5% perfect. So I, I was happy enough with that. Uh, so we're going to begin Hero Mode. One last thing, I guess, before we go and name our lad. Hero Mode, uh, unlike other Zelda games where you take double damage and can't find recovery hearts in the field from, you know, pots or hearts, or pots or hearts pots bushes are like defeating enemies you can find recovery hearts but we are going to be taking four times the normal amount of damage so um prepare to cry edition i suppose so let's uh let's let's get in there and name our hero who as i said will not be long and you can't see this i normally record with um a screen capture so you you would be able to see this you can see my my stylus my custom cursor stylus which is on the wrong screen uh, but there is a, a text box here uh, since it doesn't have access to the um, the 3DS uh, text entry system, uh, it is instead emulated, you know, on the Citrus side. Uh, so, when I let's played Skyward Sword, the, the the first game in the Legend of Zelda timeline, unless they go back on that at some point, I decided that our Lonk was Lonk the first, the first ever Lonk. We played Minish Cap, which at one point was the first point of the timeline, and is now the second point of the timeline. I declared that to be Lonk the second. Does this game come af like directly after Minish Cap? No. Are there games in between Minish Cap and here? Yes. Who one of them is called Link to the Past? Is that going to stop me from naming our lad Lonk the Third? No. No, it will not. Let's begin. So you ever sleep and you start having the dream. Yeah, the triangle dream. We all have it. There's some triangles. They break. There's a terrifying presence in the shadows, but it's fine. We're uh, we're armed. We got a sword. We got a shield. We're a little a little winded, but you know, it's the triangle dream. It always ends the same way. Somebody screaming. I mean, triangles are pretty scary. They're a hell of a shape. They're a very sharp shape. So I wouldn't. 180 degrees of hell. I think. I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, so we have uh, our, our first character, Gully. Hey, Lonk the Third. Huh? Still sleeping. Oi, indeed. Yeah, wake up. Look at how cute Gully is. So uh, there isn't a lot of official art for this game for whatever reason, which is kind of strange, you know, a big, big old Nintendo game. Um, so I'm going to be pointing out official art when it exists, uh, if, you know, whenever it comes to mind and it exists. So Gully right here has official art. Look at the little cutie. Uh, so Gully has come here to wake us up. Uh, come on. How, how long are you going to sleep, Blanc the Third? Do I have to wake you up every morning? I have chores to do. I'll be waiting outside, so get up and let's get going. And also, please stop sleeping in your bed with your shoes on. That's what animals would do. You're, you're people, Lonk. Lonk, you're, you're people, right? Papa was really angry. He said that if you can't be a blacksmith if you don't get up at the crack of dawn. And it, uh, believe it or not, is not the crack of dawn. So yes, Lonk is training to be a blacksmith, something that reoccurs from time to time in Zelda games. I believe that was what the deal was in Minish Cap, that you were a uh, blacksmith's apprentice. Uh, we can come over here and we can see the Majora's Mask. Uh, so around when this game uh, was being released, Nintendo was big like, tee hee, Majora's Mask on the 3DS. I don't know what you're talking about. Will we? <laughs> Won't we? Oh, they did. 
<laughs> oh, they, oh, they did. <laughs> okay, so let's let's get going. Let's get out of here. We gotta we gotta go uh, see Gully's papa. Papa is steaming mad that you're late again. Come on, let's get to his shop. Something important about Gully. Built like a brick shit house. Cannot knock this lad over. Completely stuck to the ground. Locke had had no hope against Gully. Oh, almost forgot. Don't don't forget to check in here. What do you mean where? Look, there's like one important thing. Do you see the weather vane? The weather vane that is snoring somehow? The weather vane with sentience that's right next to your house? You should probably be familiar with that. Always give that a spin when you pass by. That'll let you save. Papa says that you should always do that. Hmm. Not real sure what saving is. I'm just a kid. Nobody tells me anything. Anyway, I'm going to run on ahead. Catch up after you spin that vein, Lock the Third. Oh, don't worry. We're experts at spinning that vein. And there we go. Yeah, so the, the weather vanes are save points, uh, and they're seemingly sentient. No, I'm, well, uh, it, do, uh, it doesn't matter if I save right now. It's because I'm going to, oh, we got to spin the vein. You got to spin that vein. You don't want my papa finding out that you didn't save properly. All right, we'll, we'll save. I was going to say, like, I'm probably going to rely a lot on save states for this for in-between episode saves. Uh, so I guess it actually doesn't matter if I save or not, if I'm going to be doing that now that I think about it. Um, we can come over here, we can pick up bushes, we can throw stuff at this training dummy. It, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, it does matter, but it doesn't really matter. It, it was just, we have the ability to pick up things. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, I'm probably going to be using save states just in case something goes wrong with the recording. Not that anything already has. It's, wink. Where are you going? This is no time to be wandering off, but... Uh, Gully, you were going that way, so I wanted to go explore, find my own, forge my own path. Much like a blacksmith would forge stuff. Not that way, silly. What, are you still half asleep or something? Uh, I suppose I am. Uh, I guess before we move on, just because, nah, whatever, I'll talk about it later. It's fine. Just know that I have something interesting to talk about. Oh, actually, I, 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 you better head inside along the third. Papa's waiting for you. That's probably what he said. Um, too many thoughts in my head. Uh, this song right here, um, it's called Hyrule at Peace, I believe. That it's, that's what it's called in the version of the soundtrack that I legally acquired. Legally. Um, but I have seen it referred to Dawn of the First Day in some other places, so I'm not sure if that's a regional difference or if, you know, just like a fan name or what the deal is. I think Papa might really have it in for you now, Lonk the Third. He really blew his stack. Maybe he's cooled, uh, cooled down by now, but uh, I sort of doubt it. Well, time to face the music. By the music, I mean... A, sounds like a very angry blacksmith. All right, so tell me, how's that shield suit you, Captain? Superb work as always, but I'd expect nothing less from a master. Uh, and also the only person in Hyrule uh, who is a blacksmith. There's not not a lot of people in Hyrule, uh, if you think about it. I do what I can, Captain. Also helps that I have a good source of ore. That shield's tougher than ever now. I wouldn't trust my gear with anyone else. No one else. No one can bring out the best of, of a sword quite like you. No one else is a blacksmith. Please, we need more. Train that boy well. So if you forgive me, it's time that I forge a, forge ahead. Haha, <laughs> blacksmith joke. Busy day. So this is the captain. Oh, who's this? Well, well, if it isn't Lonk the Third. Sleep, slept late again. Are you sure you're cut out to be a blacksmith? It's not my business to say, but you better mend your ways, lad. There's no future in being a layabout, and we really need more than one blacksmith in the entire world? Oh. Kingdom? Ho! Huh. Late again? I, I guess his voice is more of a ho huh than what I was doing, but I, I don't care. I'm not here to voice act. I'm, I'm just reading. I guess doing a little bit of voice stuff, but doing full-on voices would be annoying. Well, come on, get over here. Time to get to work, Lonk the Third. Oh my. The captain left without taking his new sword. Yeah, there's no future in being a layabout, but it's perfectly fine to forget your weapon on a table. What? He's gone off unarmed? Lucky you, instead of getting an earful, you've got an errand, Lonk the Third. Take that sword and hurry after the captain. I put a lot of work into that sword. Get it to the captain and make darn sure there's not a scratch on it. Did you, did you even have breakfast yet? As soon as you come back, I'll make sure you eat before work. 
Oh, and don't fret about that sourpuss. I'm sure he'll forget all about your sleeping late by the time you get back. Now just be safe out there and give her best to the captain. What about you, this little gnome guy? My hammer never misses when I work for the missus, but my hammer's always faster when it's for the master. The master makes me tack on that second verse there. I like this little uh, gnome guy, uh, like a reference to the blacksmiths from A Link to the Past. Uh, they were originally like these little gnome guys instead of this guy. Uh, so, speaking of official art, we have official art of the blacksmith and the creatively named Blacksmith's Wife. Uh, so there's a thing with this game where important characters normally do get named, but there's a lot of characters who you'd expect to have a name that just don't. They'll just be like description girl, description man, that kind of stuff. A lot of, lot of that going around in this game. I guess they were just like, this character doesn't really matter, so whatever, I suppose. Sorry, Blacksmith's Wife, you're important to me. You got the captain's sword. You, you, you got the captain's sword. Now deliver it. I really like whenever you have the captain's sword. Uh, I suppose I'll talk to about it in a minute. Uh, hurry, up, hurry, run after the captain. What now? Don't know where to go? Where else? He's got to be headed back to Hyrule Castle. You still groggy? Fine. Look, I marked it on your map, so get a move on. I took a red pen and marked on your map. Good luck getting rid of that shit. It actually goes away, so maybe it's red um, colored, uh, not crown, crown. I don't, I don't think there's a way to erase crown. Uh, colored colored pencils. I don't know if you can erase colored pencils. I always draw with crowns if I want to make art. So I, I do like whenever you uh, have the sword delivery for the captain where it's like wrapped up nicely and uh, Lonk holds it very politely under his arm. So what I was going to mention uh, that I decided to wait, I wanted to take a look at the map here and you can see if you've played A Link to the Past, maybe this map looks uh, familiar. Uh, Link to the Past was kind of the basis of this game. There was a point in time where they considered, should this be a remake of A Link to the Past? And they decided against that because, as you've noticed, there's a lot of remakes of Zelda games, um, especially around this time, you know, like Ocarina of Time 3DS, or I guess it's Ocarina of Time 3D, I believe would have been the most recent one. Um, you know, Majora's Mask turned out it was around the corner and it uh, turned out that maybe that wasn't for the best. Um, so they decided against making A Link to the Past remake, but in 3D and kind of made this indirect sequel. But you can see the map uh, resembles A Link to the Past map. Uh, a lot of similarities uh, and we'll notice how they kind of changed it uh, over time as well. If you'll believe it or not, things, things aren't going to be exactly the same. Who would have guessed? Do you have anything to say about this? Huh, you done already? You get off easy or something? Yep, we got off super easy. And now we're just gonna head over. Uh, well, we could go that way, but I'm actually gonna go this way because I actually always go that way. This is the way that we came. We come over here and head through to the front gates of Hyrule Castle because surely the captain came back here to do his job and wouldn't have gone anywhere else. Morning, Lock the Third. What brings you here so early? Delivery for the captain? He's not at the castle. I know he's headed to your master's shop. Oh, you bumped into him there? Well, I know he's planning on visiting the sanctuary. He probably got hung up there. I hope he comes back soon. We've had an outbreak of vandalism all over the walls, paintings everywhere. Also, if you need to find him, I'd say north of the castle. That's where the sanctuary is. Can you mark it on my map, please? I, I don't know directions. I'm a small child. That away is a shortcut. Oh, he did mark it on our map. Yeah, so we can see the vandalism. We can see a bunch of... um. Portraits? Well, that was one portrait. I thought there'd be more over here. There was none. There is a heart piece. Uh, Lonk, however. Delicate little hands picking up those rocks would give him blisters. He can't pick that up. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, so that heart piece will go uncollected for now. Oh, uh, yes, we can see pictures of uh, soldiers. Soldiers cleaning soldiers. Uh, these, um, these Hyrule soldiers are cleaning guards off of the wall. I, I suppose you could say that's avant-garde. <laughs> Okay, so we're going. We're going north. We're we're we're, we're going to head to the sanctuary. We got to give the captain his sword because how will he defend the place against vandalism without a bladed weapon? We'll go ahead and uh, activate the uh, the uh, weather vane. Even if you're not going to save, if you see a weather vane, you should like check in with it because you know that that could be important. Just just having a conversation. No no dialogue. No no sounds, but a conversation. Hi! Uh, so this is Saris, uh, who has official art. Oh, look who's here! Welcome to Sanctuary, Lonk the Third! Eager as ever, aren't you? Is there something I can help you with? 
It's going to be fun when I just forget all the voices that I've arbitrarily assigned to characters. I see, I see. You're looking for the captain. Well, you're at the right place. He's come to see my father. The captain forgot his sword. Oh, how unlike him to be care so careless. Just a moment. I'll fetch him for you. Oh, God, I want to hear that high again. Hi. <laughs> that was such a good high. Coming and going, going and coming. The captain stops here more than anyone. You think he wants to yak with the priest? No, sir. He's just making excuses to see Saris here. There. Not here. That's neither here nor there. But it is there. She hasn't a clue. She hasn't got a clue either. But I suppose that's what's so lovely about Saris. Carefree as a bird. But old Dompe sees more than people think. Like those paintings on the castle walls this morning. There's trouble brew. <laughs> Yeah, she said it for me. I don't know how to say it. What's happening in there? Just gonna rattle the doors. Not gonna hit it with a shovel or anything. That, that'd never get a door open. The, the doors are shut tight. Can't get them open. What can we do? That was Saris crying out. Dompe doesn't have a key. Dompe just digs the graves around. Ooh. Wait, Dompe remembers. Dompe once heard the priest talking about his secret way into the sanctuary, hidden right in my graveyard. Bad luck, Dompe thinks, messing around with the graves. Worse luck going under the ground. But you, you do it. If you get scared, just swing that sword around. Sword? That sword you've got there. Dompe heard you say you it belongs to the captain, but who cares? It's for delivery. Forget that. Get to swinging the sword. But... I can't. What? Saving Saris is way more important than some delivery. You're using that sword, even if I have, to, even if Dompe, who is me, who doesn't have any official art, even though I am in several Zelda games, has to tie it to your hands. If I have to. We got this sword for real, sort of anyways, I guess. The captain won't mind if we borrow it, swing it with B. Use that sword if you run into trouble. Oh, believe me, uh, we will use it if we run into trouble. Dompe would help, but these old bones are falling apart as it is. So go, find the secret passage before my bones fall apart. It's got to be hidden somewhere in that graveyard. All right, you're going to keep rattling that door instead of uh, opening it uh, with, you know, shovel. Shovel could open door. Uh, so this enemy, you might think it's a choo-choo. You might think, oh, Buzz Blob. No, that's Blob. That's just a blob. It's not buzzy. It's it is blobby, not buzzy. So yes, we can uh, we can move the graves. I believe there's actually the sign over here it says something like, "If you if you grab and shove the graves, you'll get an earful from me." Dompe, just a little little tutorial. Like if you if you didn't play Link to the Past, you, you might not know to push the the graves. Um, so yeah, that one grave, uh, that person was buried with their money. That person, however, was buried with their bones uh, and also the, uh, their ghost, which is a a Poe. I believe that one is a Poe. There's several flavors of ghost in this game, uh, but this one is is a Poe. Uh, we're not going to move all the graves. I just want to see if that one would also have a 20. Because, believe it or not, the grave protected by the sword, the sword we just acquired, uh, is is the, the important one. Who would have guessed the grave in the middle that we needed our sword uh, to access? So now we're underground, and it's so dark, and we can't see anything, and there's pots uh, that was in our way. So what would you know? But there's a lamp uh, in our first chest. How convenient. So now we can, uh, yes, the game is going to tell us, hey, maybe you wanna go to your items. You can hit select or you can uh, tap the items button with uh, the stylus, uh, which in my case is a mouse. Uh, so we have a lamp. A little light makes it a little safer, right? You can also use it to scorch enemies. So yeah, with the light, uh, we, we can now see. How novel is that? Uh, one thing I like is it appears on uh, Lonk's model where you can actually see uh, the lamp. And it's so funny, they set up like all of these like pots to like stop you from like kind of like blindly feeling your way around it kind of leads you towards the uh, lamp a little bit but i mean you're gonna need the lamp to get out because this is the legend of zelda the path will open to the one who lights the way who would have guessed having to light lamps to open a door in the legend of zelda i mean it's our first puzzle so i can't get too hoity-toity like Ooh, why do they keep using these puzzles? These little puzzles for little babies in this game made for babies. How could they? Also, something cool. You can uh, extinguish the lamps uh, with the swing of your sword. Could be useful in the future, or it could could not. Uh, so this enemy right here, these snakes are ropes. The rats, believe it or not, they're, they're called rats. Uh, not not everything has a a fun fantasy name. Oh, wait, no, I do want the light on. I would, I would appreciate being able to see. Um, rats, I, I don't know if they continue their behavior from 
uh, or not their behavior, I suppose, but in um, A Link to the Past, rats had a tendency to drop a lot of money when they, they get killed. I don't know if that uh, so much exists in this game. And you'll notice the, the first enemies we see, that, that that rope did two hearts of damage to me. That's hero mode, baby. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be taking some blows uh, as we go through here. So yeah, the lamp, lamps do go out over time. Not all of them do, but at least in this uh, underground passage they do. So we can come in here and, oh no, there's ghosts in this graveyard. I mean, we did see ghosts. Well, I guess this is the grave. This isn't a graveyard anymore. You just gotta kill the pose uh, and you're able to, to make your way through. Pretty, pretty simple uh, little area. And we come here, we come up here and, oh no, the door's shut. And there are two switches for us to pull. You'll never guess this, but the left is the correct one, and the right one is the bad one. So just remember, left is good and right is bad. The right is bad. <laughs> just throwing that out there, that the left is good and the right is bad. Just something uh, to keep in mind. And if you pull the bad one, snakes fall down. And, you know, the lies always got to be snakes. And it's it's because storytelling, you know, and if Indy wasn't afraid of snakes, it wouldn't be snakes. It'd be whatever he was afraid of. Uh, and it's just, you know, if they drop something else, then... It, it would be narratively a little strange. Hey, Dompe, you out there? The doors are locked. Hey, Dompe, I made it in. My sword doesn't open it either, so I, I'm sorry for talking shit about your shovel. <laughs> what do you want with Ceres? I swear if you hurt my daughter. And what sort of fiend dares to defile this sanctuary in this manner? A fiend? How easily you stoop to petty insults. My name is Yuga, and I have come here seeking nothing less than... perfection. And you, my dear, are perfection. How can you stand being so lovely surrounded by these filthy fools? I will put you on a pedestal, or rather, upon a wall, perfect forever. Except, perfection doesn't belong on the wall, it goes in a painting frame which you will then put on the wall, so Yuga wasn't uh, telling tales out of school. Ceres is going on a wall in a painting frame. By technicality, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be pedantic about this. Oh, not on, not on the wall, Yuga. You should have, you should have gotten some uh, ad ad adherence to that, some kind of sticky si situation so you could stick it to the wall. That might have, might might have been wise to consider that in your uh, wizard class to learn how to make the painting frame stick to the wall. Ah. Uh, as I suspected, you're even, you're even lovelier as a painting. I think that her grace will be most pleased. Hmm? Oh, what have we here? Another worm comes wriggling in. <laughs> How did you get into the sanctuary, Lonk the Third? Run, child! That dude's a wizard! That's fucked up! Why do you stand there? Run! Not even the captain stood a chance against him. He, he surely had his sword on him. I believe this worm here wishes to tangle with me. Come on then, wriggle, wriggle, little worm. Okay, well we'll tangle with you. Oh, oh, we got punked. Yuga gave us the old run, road runner, wily coyote move, uh, and we we fell for it completely. You think you can challenge me? Why, I am the portrait of perfection. I guess wily coyote. Well, no, the Roadrunner did, like, go into the painting sometimes, so I suppose it's it's a correct... What I said was correct. Please don't... Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> Why, while all of you merely scribbles and squiggles, the very sight of you offends my eyes. Still, I'll be leaving this ugly world soon enough. No. <laughs> 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 We can hear a bit of a uh, Yuga's theme here. Uh, and Yuga just, you know, well, singing him, his theme to himself on the way out. Not even that captain of yours could stand against my might. For all his spit and polish, he made for but a crude doodle on the wall, a waste of my magic. Farewell, fools. I'm off to acquire what little perfection I can find in this gaudy world of yours. And then, uh, every, the world, world goes dark. Short game. No, don't take my Ceres. We must warn Princess Zelda. Yep, short game. But, you know, an interesting one. Interesting uh, entry into the, the Legend of Zelda series. You get kicked in the ribs and die at the beginning. But, you know, that's how it be sometimes. And once again, 
like an animal. Lonk awakens on his bed with his shoes on the bed. Hey, what's up? Oh, you're waking up. Good. I was starting to worry about you, buddy. The name's Ravio. Hey, you listening to me? What? The rug tastes really good or something? I'm a traveling merchant. I found you in the sanctuary. Passed out. Alone. Strange, if you ask me. What? The priest? No, I'm sure he, I'm, he's probably dead if there was a priest. It looked like you needed a pal, so I took the liberty of lugging you here to this vacant house. Seemed like the perfect place for you to shake off the snores. Okay, so you're not going to believe this magic is real, and there's this dude... Say what? This is your house? Surely you wouldn't speak about magic now. Looked empty-ish to me. Wait, so tell me, what happened to you, buddy? Okay, so, like I was saying, magic is real, and there's this dude who can... What? You don't say! Some strange man turned a girl into a painting! So you got done in trying to stop him, huh? That makes you a hero, buddy. A real, live, genuine hero. But why are you standing around talking to me, then? You've got to report this to the castle! Will you mark it on my map? I've... Oh, hey! Wait a minute! Oh, thank God you're gonna mark it on my map. I don't know where to go. To tell you the truth, I've been looking for a place to stay. It's been hard to find somewhere good, so, uh, this is awkward. Mind if I stay here for a while? Just a couple of days for... Oh, I, I... Mind if I stay here for a while? Just a couple of days, I promise. I don't... My brain just totally short-circuited there. Yeah, you can stay here, dude. I trust you. Who would not trust Ravio? Really? Thanks a million. Finally, no more sleeping in the wild. Tough world out there, you know? Here, take this. I can't pay rent yet, but it's something, at least. Oh, rent? What is rent? I'm unaware of the concept. If rent is bracelets, I accept. You got ra Ravio... Ra I almost said Ravio. <laughs> That'd be a completely different character. Uh, you got Ravio's bracelet. Pretty old, but a gift's a gift. Hey, dude, this kind of stinks. I know it's... I know it looks like a hunk of junk, but it's older than old. A real treasure, that thing. Uh, what? Okay, so this thing smells like ass, dude. Like, real bad. What? Odor? You don't want it because it smells funny? That's the smell of history, buddy. Musty lever. Musty lever? Musty leather. Moldy aromas. The rich fragrance of a relic. Okay, fine. I'll admit that it smells like a wet dog, but you gotta know that's a good smell. Besides, it's a gift, so the least you could do is wear it, buddy. Now pronto, buddy, to the castle. Hurry! Do you have anything else to say? What's that? Was the priest all right? I don't know. Maybe? Probably? All I know is you've got to get to... All I know is you've got to get news of all this to Hyrule Castle. Now pronto, buddy. Yeah, to the castle. Hurry, yeah. Okay. What? You think I should go? Have you seen what I'm wearing? They'd never believe me. Anyway, stop wasting time and just make haste to the castle. I, I, tr I trusted you immediately, Rabio. So, Rabio, you might, you might notice that Rabio is a purple rabbit, uh, and might, you might say, resembles Nabbit from the new Super Mario Brothers series. Uh, according to Iwata, this isn't like an intentional reference which I think is wild for them to be like, no, 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 the, we just happen to have two purple rabbit characters in our games. Uh, so this game and New Super Mario Bros. U do share a lot of staff, so it might have just been a designer who just accidentally stumbled upon the same like thing. Maybe they just like purple rabbits. So it's not supposed to be a Nabbit reference, but I do think maybe Iwata was a little... Maybe, maybe, just, maybe saying that, oh, th this, has, this has nothing to do with Nappet is maybe going a little, a little too far. Uh, so Ravio's name uh, is a portmanteau of Rabbit and Violet, so you get Ra from Rabbit and Vio from Violet, Violet, so Ravi, Ravi, maybe? I, I, Ravio's the, what I'm going to say. Uh, and the weird little bird thing that he has with him. I looked a lot into this thing to try and figure out, is this like a race from something in Zelda? And no, it seems like this thing is one of a kind. Uh, its name is Shiro. Uh, in Japan, it's Shiro, the word for white, which would be romanized as S-H-I-R-O, Shiro. Uh, but for the localization, they changed its name to Shiro, S-H-E-E-R-O-W. So it's like Sparrow, so it's more of like a bird thing 
I, I guess, is, is kind of the idea there. Um, also, just because this is the very beginning of the series, you might have noticed a really well cut there in the... <laughs> a really well... Oh my god. A really good cut there in the middle of Ravio's thing. I live right next to a train track, uh, and a train decided to barrel by and took four minutes to pass. Like, I live very close, so it's just, there may be some unexpected cuts here and there. Uh, and it's just... It's because train. I live by train. Um... And also, I, I was showing this off with the, the map earlier, and just before we get a move on, you can see my cool custom uh, cursor that I made for this game, uh, since I was going to have to use my map uh, to control, you know, any, uh, any bottom screen shit that we were going to do. Uh, I decided to make a custom cursor. Uh, it is the Rock's Feather from the Game Boy uh, Zelda games, you know, Link's Awakening, uh, the Oracles. I, uh, I made it white, however, because for uh, there was a little thing that they gave away in certain instances for uh, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, the Nintendo DS Zelda games, uh, where they gave away a clear quill stylus. So I decided I kind of wanted to invoke that with uh, this cursor, and I thought it might, you know, be less uh, immers immer immersion breaking than maybe my, my mouse would be. Not that immersion is i'm here speaking over the game and being a real asshole about it um so I, th there there's that bye now see ya mr hero time to sleep in the bed without shoes the way a normal human would uh so yes now we're oh sorry sign we have our sword and we can destroy this dummy is that important to do no did i do it yes uh so yeah we just gotta head over to the castle uh and see if we can uh, deliver the bad news. Before we do that, hey, hey, you wanna hear this fucked up thing that happened at the sanctuary? Uh, no, no, they're just busy uh, trying to clean up uh, their graffiti, which they are completely unable to do uh, for whatever reason. Maybe it's some sort of magic. You one might assume, but maybe they just aren't really uh, putting their back into it. Maybe they gotta really, really scrub into it. Maybe they need some uh, Fabuloso and they're just going at it with, uh, you know, dry brooms. We come here, uh, we can see Dompe, we can see the priest. They're fine. Uh, even though Ravio wasn't able to uh, give us a de definite answer about that. Dompe can't believe his eyes. This painting of the captain. Is that the end of him? And poor lovely Saris too. What do you guys say about this? I'm relieved to see that you're all right, Lonk the Third. But my poor Saris, I can only guess why that fiend has taken her. All that nonsense about perfection. Of course, my daughter is perfect, but if only I could have taken her place. Oh, what a nightmare this is. I, too, have perfection in me. I can't show you, but... Wink? Uh, so we couldn't really get a good look at it during the, the cutscene, and you can't really get a good angle on it now either. Uh, but there's the captain. Captain was also turned into a picture, but just slung on the wall, um, like uh, like Yuga said, it was like uh, like a crude doodle. Uh, you know, squiggles and scribbles, all of us. Uh, so that's what he did to the captain. Scribbled and squiggled him. Uh, I just wanted to go there, show off the. You can see the captain. You can find out. You can find out if the priest is alive or not. Uh, just unnecessary entry. You got to know where. You know, Ravio could have just been like. I mean, yeah, he's, he's fine. I. I guess. Uh, so we can come in here. We can see guards practicing. Guards very... Oh, well, they, they stop swinging when you get in front of them. But that dude did manage to hit us, like, once. And did shove us. So they're not very good at attacking. Either that, or actually very good about stopping their attack. One or the, one or the other. Look at your map. So new and clean. Mine's had so many pens stuck in it over the years. Now it's full of holes. But I'm such a scatterbrain that I forget where I'm going unless I use a pen to mark it. So yeah, this this Nintendo game, we're gonna be a tutorial as we can take pen and be like, I need to remember to come here, and then we can throw that pen away. Unlike this chump, though, um, we we um, how do I get this to go back? Oh, stylus, I got a stylus control. Duh. Um, let's put let's get rid of this pen out of here. Otherwise, that'll confuse me later. Uh, unlike uh, unlike this chump, you know. Even though our map uh, appears to be an actual object that we have, you know, people mark our map and such for us, uh, you know, it, for us in our reality, it's digital, so we don't have to worry about holes and such being in it, and the marks will go away. That guy in the back, he's slacking off for sure. Huh? Uh, nothing to report, sir. Oh, it's just you. Don't start on me like that. I'm not slacking, I swear. 
And you know, I'll believe that you're not slacking because I have just stolen this five rupee, five blue rupee worth five rupees uh, from the castle. No, he, he didn't care, you know. He greased our palms for us. Uh, so now let's let's get a move on. Whoa, hold your horses there. Not just anyone go, gets into the palace. You say the captain was turned into a what now? A painting. And Cyrus was too. And Princess Zelda needs to know right away, huh? <laughs> Look, I get you want to see the princess, but that's a real whopper of a story there. And whoppers, not a good burger. So what you've said, not pleasant in the slightest. My word, what in high rule is all the shouting about, guard? I'm sorry, Lady Impa, but this lad here has a message for Princess Zelda, and it's as far fetched it's, it's as far as far fetched gets, which is sir fetched. Mm, sir fetched, eh? I don't believe it's ready for that. Okay, so there's this guy who does magic, and oh, mm, indeed, Ceres was transformed into a painting. But that's, well, frankly, it's beyond belief. Then again, strange paintings are popping up all over the castle. There may be something to all this. Hmm, yes, I wonder. Quickly, come with me. You've got to tell Princess Zelda what you saw in this, at the sanctuary. You're taking this boy at his word, Lady Impa? Y yes, I'm taking the boy at the word. Don't question me. You're fired. Hmm, that's it. Head on in. I'm going home. Okay, well, we've uh, acquired... Well, we've, we've acquired an uh, audience with the princess, it would seem. Wait here while I announce you to the princess. Feel free to take a close look at our gallery here. You'll never guess the order that you should... The optimal viewing order. One would never be able to guess what that could possibly be. The paintings here are spectacular, but they also tell of our legendary past and of the Seven Sages. Look at the mm, symbols on the floor to tell the order of events. The descendants of the Seven Sages live amongst us today. It's no secret that Lady Empa is one of them. Mm, wow, Lady Empa, one of the descendants of the Seven Sages. Painting one, the Golden Triforce. This gift from the gods, Hyrule's greatest treasure, will grant the wish of any mortal who touches it. The Triforce once stoked greed in the hearts of men. A legendary war was fought to keep it out of evil hands. Painting 2, the Sealed Triforce. To end the war for the Triforce, the royal family decided to hide it in the Sacred Realm. They summoned the Seven Sages of Legend, who used their power to seal the Triforce away. And then, you know, you might assume 1, 2, and then since the middle one's got to be the important one, that you would go 3, 4, but instead it's 1, 2, 5, 3, 4, which is weird to me. Painting 3, The Demon King. The Demon King Ganon was once just a thief until a man until the man broke into the Sacred Realm. There, he stole the Triforce and transformed himself. Then, he took his evil campaign back to Hyrule. Painting 4, The Hero Awakens. A hero of legend arose from humble beginnings, awoken to his purpose by a princess of Hyrule. With the Master Sword, the Blade of evil, Evil's Bane, he sought the descendants of the Seven Sages. Together, they defeated the demon king Ganon and sealed him away in darkness. And then we have our final painting. And, oh, well, well, I guess we can't see it because Impa is summoning us. Darn. Princess Zelda is ready to see you now. Right this way, please. I'm not done with art, though, Impa, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to view art first. Painting V. The Triforce split apart. The Triforce was split into three pieces separated forever. One piece remains with the royal family. Another piece has fallen into the hands of Ganon, sealed away with him. The third piece of the Triforce has vanished, through, uh, though legend says it is hidden in the spirit of a true hero. It slumbers now somewhere in Hyrule, waiting for the time when the world needs a new hero. Which, when would Hyrule need a hero? Historically, it's been perfectly fine. Uh, so something neat about these paintings. Uh, we saw like animated versions of them uh, in, in like that opening uh, like cutscene thing, Majig, uh, which is very cool. But these paintings, they are paintings. They had to paint these, and the high quality versions of these do exist. I suppose I've been showing them on screen. I probably should have mentioned this earlier. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, what you've been saying are the actual like high quality like versions of these uh, paintings. So if you like them, you can go find them, and they're huge. I think they're like three thousand something by two thousand something. Uh, it's very neat. And very cool. And also some of the very few pieces of, like, art that exist for this game. I guess there's concept art. I could probably look in, like, um, not the Hyrule Historia, because that was before this game. Uh, but I think they did a new, like, Zelda encyclopedia that had more junk. I don't know. Not important. Could be important.
I bid you find us welcome to Hyrule Castle, stranger. I hear you have something to... Wait, it's you. Forgive me, but might I ask your name? Oh, okay, so it's Lonk the Third. So there's other Lonk... Ah, while your name isn't familiar to me, Lonk the Third, I've seen your face in my dreams as of late, for I've dreamed of a hero locked in battle with a terrible evil. Ah, the triangle dream. You're having it too. What? You've had the same dream, Lonk the Third? Surely, fate has sent you here. Please then, tell me what you saw at the sanctuary. Okay, so magic is real. There's this dude. He's like a wizard. He can turn into people into paint. Yeah, paintings. It's fucked up. Ceres has been transformed into a painting. The captain as well. I sense a terrible darkness behind these events. Oh, Empa, I fear evil is awakening once more in our fair land. Did you hear that? A fucking wizard. Fret not, princess. I advise that we consult Sara Hasala. A name I think I can say now. Sar Sahasrala. Sahasrala. I can say it now. I'm so proud of myself. I definitely didn't bip it the first time I said it. Sahasrala. I advise that we consult Sahasrala for help. The Elder's knowledge of the past, well, it's more than vast. Nice rhyme, Empa. Yes, of course. That's just where to start. So long, the third. Would you please find... Sahasrala. Sahasrala. Yeah, Sahasrala. The elder should be at home in Kakariko Village. I am certain that he will be able to help. Now, there's just one more thing. I marked your map, by the way. I would like to send you off with my most treasured possession. It's a rather special charm. Are you sure about this, princess? The royal, the royal family has kept that safe for untold generations. Quite sure, Lady Empa. This has been in my safekeeping since the day I was born. Now I entrust it to you. Please, take good care of this charm. You will have need of it soon, Mark the Third. We got a special charm from Princess Zelda, and it's green, like us. She saw it and she's like, ah, green. I got a green thing. You're green. Bada bing, bada boom. Have my thing. Please, tell Sahasrila everything that you saw. I keep having to, like, second guess myself. So... Zelda and Empa, I feel like, are the characters who get, like, the most redesigns in the Zelda series. Like, I get, well, I guess Link also, too, because I was going to say Zeldas, like, tend to be pretty minor ones, like, different dress, you know, maybe different hair color at most. I guess that, in that same way, like, Link's design minorly changes. Uh, this design, you'll probably recognize, is the one uh, that they started using for Zelda, uh, starting in Smash 4, so in Smash Ultimate. Uh, they have the link, uh, a link between worlds, uh, Princess Zelda, which I thought was really cool, because uh, you know this this design's pretty cute, you know, kind of updating the a link to the past one. Impa, however, Impa's the goat with redesigns. She gets so many, and all of them are like really good. Like you know, you get your Skyward Sword one where she's like that weird string bane, or you know, spoilers, you know, you you know, y you know, um, you know, you get your like your like Oracle ones. Where she's just like she's just this like big powerful lady. It's really cool, um, you know. Just Empa. There's so many different Empas. It's great. I love that they, they redesign her. And like just Zelda's like, okay, you gonna get going? I got it. I can't sit in my chair. It's a bad game. Uh, you know, obviously, Zelda's lullaby. It's Zelda's lullaby. It's happening. So, uh, you know what? I was going to end it there in that room, but let's let's get out of this castle. I don't need to hear your damn lullaby, princess. Uh, and I'm not going to talk to every single one of these guards. We're going to go ahead and get on outside so we can hear. Actually, was this already happening? The Zelda theme, you know, Hyrule Fields. It's it's Zelda theme. It's happening. It's doing the thing. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, if you haven't figured out, I do. I really, really like this game. This is one of my favorite Zelda games. Um, maybe I'll actually sit down and figure out where it is and like a numbered list at some point before the end of this series. Uh, I really enjoy this game. I hope y'all enjoy it too if you've never seen it. Or even if, if you've seen it, I still hope you're enjoying it, uh, I should say. Um, I really appreciate y'all watching. I hope you're excited for this game. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool game. Uh, I love Link to the Past. Maybe I like this game more. Uh, so we're gonna be we're gonna be playing uh, next time. We're gonna be heading to Kakariko Village. And maybe you know we're gonna see what the elder has to say. Maybe preparing if for you know a situation where we may have to go to like a dungeon of some sort. You know maybe we should be ready if that would happen. Not that it would ever happen or anything. I'll lonk y'all later.